How you guys doing? Josh here with Ohio Fish Rescue. Now we have received a bunch of aquatic plants in the mail from various, you know, subscribers who have wanted to donate plants to us. Some are local, some are across the world. So we have a big, big pile of plants that we're going to show you how we quarantine. All right guys, so we are here. We have this bag of water Sprite that we got from one of our members. This is a bag of water Sprite, Jungle Val. I don't know what else is in here. I'm not a big plant guy, but we will surely find out. Looks like some cool plants. And uh, in here, I actually have not opened this one up yet. <laughs> so let us see. Oh, what, what is this stuff? I don't know. More plants, guys. More plants. Oh, this looks like water hyacinths and all sorts of different goodies. So, today I am going to basically quarantine these plants by giving them a dip. So how we dip our plants? We use bleach. So you guys might think that bleach is a little harsh to use on, you know, aquarium plants. And normally it is, but this is a bleach dip. So you are going to do basically one part bleach to 19 parts water and you're supposed to leave the plants in the water for five minutes and then you take them into another vat of clean water let them soak for 10 minutes to make sure all the bleach is cleaned off of them then you can go ahead and put them directly into your tank so you do that so you can get rid of columnaris worms, you can get rid of any sort of parasites that might come in on these plants because these, these are, you know, bread and ponds, you know, down in tr tropics and they're sent across the world. They could come in with all sorts of nasty diseases. All right guys, so I'm just using an old food container, just something you can measure up to so you can get the right amount of bleach to water ratio. I'm only doing about a half because I think that's all I'll need, but we've got one part bleach. Going up as two parts. Yep. Two. Four. Six. Eight. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen. Good one. <laughs> 16. <laughs> you guys guessed it, that's 18. Now we need to do a half and spill some out. There we go. So that is one part bleach to 19 parts water. I did uh, dilute that down just a little bit. I added a little more than a half. But we're going to go ahead and take our plants. We'll start out with the water sprite. Um, wait, before I do that, I need. We'll use this bucket. We're fine. And thank you again, everybody that's sending plants. We really appreciate it. This here is water sprite. It can grow as a floating plant. And it can also be buried in the gravel and be used as, you know, a plant that's buried. These are supposed to grow like a weed. And uh, that's what exactly what we're hoping happens. So we can go ahead and plant these guys and get them growing and eating nitrates in no time. So I'm just going to take the whole batch in there and we're going to let them soak and start a timer. I got the timer. Alrighty, so the plant's been soaking. We are now going to take the big clump of plants, let them drip off. You're going to dunk them in a vat of nice clean water. And then you're going to let this soak in this vat for another 10 minutes so it can dilute all the, you know, bleach solution that was on this plant. So you can go ahead and then put it in your aquarium. Okay, so we're opening up bag number two. Let us, oh, there's water everywhere. Oh, there's snails in here. Of course you got snails coming in on plants. All right, let's pull these apart and see what we got here. I don't know, but this one is kind of cool and I like it, but kind of all bunched together. I don't know what it is. I hate just ripping these plants apart because something cool. Whoops. But the plants will perk, perk up. They will be fine. It's 
Let's go ahead, and this looks like something we can plant in the angel tank. Looks like it's a big fern looking type thing. I don't know, but in the solution they go. <laughs> All right, what is this? This looks like jungle valve of some sort. Oh, it's got some black leaves on it. I don't know about that one. In the solution you go. Looks like a dead leaf. This looks like more water sprite. In the solution you go. So we've got three different plants here soaking, and that leaves us with our big bunch over there. So we're gonna go ahead and set another timer, and uh, we'll be back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this water sprite out of here. We're gonna go ahead and plant this, but I'm gonna take these bunches of plants Stick them in the clean solution, dunk them. Same thing with the jungle valve. In solution and dunk them. And the water sprites. Take them, dunk them. Now we're gonna go and take this water sprite out to the monster pond and we're gonna go and plant this. You guys see I cleared it's a little bit dark right now but I cleared out this whole corner to be able to able to house all this water sprite because it is going to grow like a weed and that's exactly what we wanted it to do so we're gonna bury it in the gravel after I uh, pull these apart a little bit and figure out where the roots are they, they are a floating plant and a plant that can be buried in gravel like I said so we're gonna go ahead and uh, Plant them in gravel. This is only, you know, three inches of water, so they can actually spread across the top and grow through through the roots like we want. And we're gonna plant these guys. Better? Yeah. All right, guys. So we are picking different little spots that we can come in here and choose to plant this. As you can see, I'm kicking up a little bit of the dirt. But I just seen that some of these plants and tubers that have died off, they're now coming back. This is a whole brand new sprout to plant. Not even sure what this is. Stuff that I've planted there and died off and now it reestablished itself and it's gonna start growing, which is pretty awesome. But basically just pick a spot, throw the roots down in there and uh, continue on with your ways. Now I'm hoping that this stuff, it just grows like a weed. It, it will grow across the top of the water. So what that means for us is it will suck nitrates out of the water column because they are very you know the, the the hairier the roots the more nitrates it'll actually pull out of the water you actually have to watch because some plants will pull their nutrients from the actual uh, soil and gravel in your aquarium and some plants will pull their nutrients from the actual water column so you want to be very careful on what type of plants you actually choose to use because this will all have an effect on your aquarium so that is the last of the water sprite that we have growing in now wait a minute i found one more i'm sorry so we're just throwing this everywhere because why not that is more plants on the 58,000 gallon wait here's a little bit more i'm sorry guys oh, wait there's more <laughs> <laughs> matt's monster fish on the camera if you guys don't know that voice already, you should. Go give him a follow. Subscribe to his YouTube. I heard, heard his videos are pretty decent sometimes. So we got more water sprites soaking right here. We are gonna go ahead and go plant them into 58,000 gallon pond again. I don't know about you guys, but coming out here and seeing plants in this river system is just kind of awesome to me. This whole corner has just been waiting for plants. We've been hoping that the pothos here would grow quicker, but I mean, it can only grow so fast, which I mean, I can't be mad about it. But we are adding more plants nonetheless. And so I've been told, this stuff is just the miracle worker. It grows so quick. I don't know what that is, but we'll see if it grows. 
So you guys always want to weed through and try and take out all the dead plants that, uh, you know, dead plant matter and whatnot in your tanks because it will cause nitrates to grow. So you guys always want to watch out for that. And it's just a stem, not water sprite. There. You always want to look for the roots when you're plant planting plants. Unless it is a stem type plant that will re-root itself. But to know that, you have to do some research. All right, guys, so we got this strain of jungle bell, I think this is. We're going to go ahead and plant in the angel tank. So you guys have not seen this. We actually rescaped the angel tank to add a bunch of plants. We actually took them from our uh, tank up front. We've got some hornwood in there. I don't know what these other plants are, but man, will get you guys a good look at them. Alright, there you guys go. You can see the jungle valve here. It'll look good in this tank once it establishes itself. But I'm going to go ahead and see if I can wipe all this junk off the leaves. believe this was something that happened in transport. So we'll see if it just falls off. So here we go, we got this big bunch of, I don't know what this plant is, but it's got some cool little stems and stalks on it. Got a big root ball. I'm just going to take this guy right in this front corner. I'm going to move some gravel. Stick that under. Cover up. Oh, I <laughs> didn't get enough on there yet. Only working with one hand here. This is a 90 gallon tank. It's a little bit deep, so work with me here. I'm new to this whole plant thing. There we go. There we go. Now if any of you guys can tell me what this plant might be, I would be more than happy to know. But you guys get a first look at the new planted 90 gallon of uh, angel tank. It's got a few neons in there and a bunch of different angels. Oh, this is parrot feather. Oh, that's something we like, that green one. Nice. All right, guys, so here, um, do you just want to throw them in there or do you want to ble bleach these ones too? So here we got actually, this is a plant called parrot feather and it, you know, comes up out and looks like little palm tree-ish plants. They are a floating plant, but they will root in your tanks. So we're going to go ahead and toss them in the dip. There we go. Now all of these, this is nothing but water hyacinth, which is going to actually cover the whole top of this uh, koi pond. So we're going to get these guys dip in and we'll see what happens. All right, guys, so here is a group of plants. There's actually some dwarf water lotus in here. There's actually quite a few different varieties of species. But into the koi tank they go. We're going to go ahead and They're spread. They're going to eat a bunch of that little stuff. Oh, yeah. There goes some grass. We're going to go ahead and let them spread out and grow. Now, for those of you that might think you don't have enough light on here, we are swapping out this lighting to give them much more lighting on the koi tank. <laughs> So if you guys actually look, the good thing about water hyacinths and water lettuce, if you look at the roots of the plants, you see how hairy that they are. That's what actually extracts the nitrates out of the water. The hairier the roots, the more nitrates they actually pull. Got more bunches of goodness, plant goodness, right in here. Oh, the koi are gonna love this. They're going to get some cover to hide in. They're going to have nice, clean water. Let me get that newspaper out of there. I'm going to break these guys apart a little bit. They're going to start perking up here. There we go. Nice 
Damn. Well, here we go, the last bunch of plants over here going into the koi tank. Now, you guys have asked, you know, how we're liking the plants. This is actually our first go at it, so we don't exactly know how we like it yet, but we think the fish will like it. If the fish are happy, we're happy. Alrighty guys, so last but not least, I bring you up front to our original planted tank that we uh, started off and this was our first attempt at a planted tank and uh, it's been doing really really well as you can see you know plants are reaching for the sky they're actually spreading at an alarming rate you can see these are the plants that I brought out back from the front tank they have just roots all over them so they're pulling a lot of nitrates out of the water but uh, we're going to continue to propagate this front tank and uh, slowly spread it to all the tanks around at the rescue. We've got some Amazon swords and some Anubias here. Um, but, but yeah, there goes some more frog bite. But um, not nonetheless, I appreciate you guys for stopping in to watch today's video. I hope you guys learned a little bit about, about some plants. And you know, I still have a lot to learn myself. So, uh, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay fishy, my friends.